Welcome back to the farm, and we've just finished planting the carrots. It was a massive job in the last episode, and we also accomplished a lot of other jobs, but it was all to achieve our series goals, and we've still got a lot of work ahead, so let's get started. We'll return our rented planting equipment, which was the Grimm GF400 Ridger and the Cavernland Planter for vegetables. Both of those were the cheapest pieces of equipment you can rent or buy for root crops, but they also worked together fantastically well because you're able to hook them together and do the ridging, fertilizing, and planting all in one pass. It also seemed that the Ridger took care of most of the weeds as well but I'd like to test that part out again and make sure it just wasn't a fluke. We've got another big tractor repair bill, which is absolutely killing our profits, but our little case tractor has been absolutely fantastic. It's an incredible machine. I would definitely buy this again as a starting tractor. Our poor chickens are almost out of food, 12 liters. So we'll go get the tractor, get our weight flipped around and put back on, then hook up the front loader along with the bucket and give the chickens a scoop of that freshly harvested barley from the last episode. While we're here, let's get the pallet fork attached, move a couple of the lettuce pallets out of the way, and top off the greenhouse with water. All right, the regular chores are done. I think what I'll do now is harvest a couple trees. The carrots are still freshly planted, so it's a good time to cut these trees while we can still work on them in the field before crop destruction sets in. We'll just do a couple and get that little extra bump in revenue. Okay, converted the trailer and loaded up just the small carryable limbs. I'm not expecting much for these small bits, but let's see. Almost $700, not too bad for a bunch of limbs. So we'll go get the big pieces that are valuable. Well, we've flipped our logs. Serves me right for driving too fast. Just look at this mess I've created. Yeah, this is gonna take a few minutes to get it righted and loaded back up. All right. Now on to our log sales with our somewhat sketchily loaded trailer. Okay, let's see what we've got. This should be good as it's all the big pieces from both trees. About 4,800, not bad, particularly for hard mode where the prices of everything is suppressed. But let's get back to the farm and repair our equipment on the way because there's a lot more work to do. We let the day pass into July. It's bright and early in the morning. And look at our beautiful carrots. Very high germination rate from the look of it. I think the first thing we should take care of is getting the second application of fertilizer on the carrots. 
I can't tell you how excited I am about what these carrots might mean for the prosperity of the farm. I don't want to get my expectations up too much, but... It's high. Let's get going. It's very high. Let's finish spraying the fertilizer. This should only take a minute. The day here in July is still very early, and we don't want to just waste the day, so let's take a look at things. The silage is a long way off, but the wool is starting to roll in, both on the second sheep barn we built and the first one. Yes, we need that spinnery. I've considered renting a plow and extending the grass field all the way into this area just to eke out that bit of extra yield. But we have a problematic stump we missed right in the way. It would be a waste to rent a stump grinder just for one stump. And even with those two other stumps I just created, it doesn't warrant the expense. What we can do though, is take down the rest of this line of trees. There's seven total here, and if we cut them, to fall towards the road, we can rent a very cheap winch and maybe drag them around the road over to the grass field where we can buck them up into wood. We fertilized the field, so I don't think the trees would hurt the carrots, but it would feel weird. So let's do that. I'll lease a winch, cut the trees, and do a big round of all seven trees to clear this area. There's a bunch of cars. That won't help our situation, but maybe it'll be okay. Let's see. It's not okay. All right, we finally got the tree going in the other direction. It's the long way around, but now I've gotten stuck on a tree or something. It's just not our day. Okay, I've completely reversed course again, so let's see if we can make it back the original way we started this time. Oh, more cars. We finally managed to work our way around and we'll just leave this tree right here at the corner of the property. But I just can't do that anymore, too many obstacles. I'm going to just cut the rest of the trees and unrealistically drag them across the carrots. It feels bad, but we've got to do what we have to. Right. They've all been moved and we'll return the winch and get to cutting all seven trees. You know, I keep switching the trailer back to a bale trailer, but it works to hold things in better, easier with the sides on. It's faster to load, I can put more in it. I found it's really the way to go. But let's get on with it, we've got plenty of chainsaw work and loading to do.
2700 for the first tree. Pretty much what I expected. Let's go get more. Another 2700 The carpentry shop doesn't seem to want all our wood. I guess the sawmill next door is keeping them filled up, but it's all right. The sawmill took the rest. Now back for more. This feels like a big load for the sawmill. I'm trying to fit in a little more than one tree at a time. Let's see if we can up the money with this trip. Almost four and a half thousand. Very good. We've only got two more trees left, so let's keep cashing in. Look, we have some signage for Farming Simulator 25 on the billboard and on the building. That's really good. I am still shooting for a fresh playthrough after it drops in mid-November, and I guess the game wants to remind me it's coming very soon. That's 2,900. And we've got around one more tree left, minus a few branches we took the last time. Two and a half thousand, good. That's also given us a perfectly even 44,000 in the account. That's so rare to be even like that. In a way, it didn't take as long as I thought it would to cut those seven trees. And it's given me an idea. An unexpected idea, but maybe a good one. At 44,000, we only need 16,000 more to be able to buy the spinnery. If we're able to keep making the same money on the trees, these nine trees left on the farm should be enough to put us over the top and let us afford the spinnery. The price of wood right now in July is as good as it's going to get, and while the carrots are still young, we can avoid any crop destruction. So yeah, I hadn't even thought this is what we'd be doing in this episode, but I'm gonna hack down all nine trees and get them processed. This is a big move for the farm, but a good one. The sooner we can start turning the wool into fabric at the spinnery, the better off we'll be. And while we've got nothing else to do here in July, let's roll up our sleeves and get it done. 1,300 tractor repairs. Incredible. It makes the second rental for the winch seems like nothing. Okay, all the trees are in place. Let's get cutting, loading, and selling. We got a little greedy on that last load, and I lost a branch. No problem though, we'll toss that back into the trailer and onto the sell point. It was a good sale, but there's more wood left in the trailer. The sawmill must be full. Let's try the carpentry shop. No sale. And we're so close, 55,000. Well, I don't want to go back with the wood in the trailer, so we'll just wait it out and sell the logs when there's more room at the sell point. It's almost midnight. I kept advancing time and trying to sell every few hours, and it took the whole rest of the day in July, but we finally emptied the trailer of wood. Let's get back, get some sleep, and continue with the rest of our logging in the morning. And with any luck, we'll be building our spinnery tomorrow morning. All right, morning in August. Let's fire up the chainsaw and get cracking. We've only got about three and a half trees left out of the batch of nine we dove into. So let's close in on completing the job.
Oh no, it's not still full. In this new day though, I now have an idea. One you've probably already been screaming into the video about. Other than the Marazone train station, there is the biomass heating plant. They take raw trees too, and the price is good. I think when we started, the tree prices were in the 900s or so, and it didn't catch our eye, but the biomass plant is close. So we'll trundle over there and sell our wood. I'm sure they're eager to buy. There we go, 2,600. We found another viable sell point, so we'll get back to the farm and get the last of the trees. A big repair bill of 1,600 on our way to the sell point. That's painful. But we should have enough money on this load and the few logs left on the field to get our 60,000 we need for the spinnery. Operating costs are no joke for us, and our aging tractor is all we've got. Let's just hope we can bring in enough money for the spinnery and make it all worth it. Over 4,000. Perfect. We'll run back, grab the last load, and see what the total is. You know, before we go, let me just check right quick for any leftover wedges. A lot of times, the chainsaw will leave this little wedge behind that gets in the way of the farm equipment. So it's best to get them loaded up now if there are any. I'm not seeing any though, so we'll get on and see what we've got. Another 960, bringing our account up to 62,000. Enough for the spinnery with a little left over. I kind of wish there was a little more left over, but that's a problem for later. We have enough for what we need right now. Time to buy and place the spinnery. There's three varieties, and I think we'll go for this one. It seems to have a little European styling to it that'll go with the French Bailaron map we're on. There, we've waited so long, but now it's ours, and we'll soon be producing our fabric. It takes two wool for one fabric. That seems like a fair trade. When we come back in the next episode, We'll continue loading it with wool and figure out what we want to do with our sheep because we're getting close to an overcrowding situation again. And there's also the carrot harvest. Till then, take care and I'll see you in the next episode.